Welcome to Red Recaps. Today we're doing a recap of the 2004 romantic comedy movie, The Girl Next Door. Sit tight and relax for a fun and exciting ride. Let's get started. At the beginning of the film, we see Matthew, a high school student who is about to graduate. Matthew is not like other students because he is a simple, nice guy who takes his studies very seriously. Because he does so well in school, Georgetown University has accepted him. Even so, his hormones sometimes make him want to date a girl from the same school. So one day, Matthew decided to skip school and go to the beach with other students. But he quickly changes his mind and goes back home. Matthew's parents can't afford his college fees, so he needs to win a debate competition to get a scholarship. Matthew is getting ready to give a speech when he sees a beautiful girl named Danielle. He is mesmerized by her beauty. Later that night, Matthew walks into Danielle's room and sees her changing her clothes. He can't take his eyes off of her. When Danielle catches him looking, he runs away quickly. Later, Danielle goes to Matthew's house and soon after, Matthew's parents call him downstairs. Matthew thinks Danielle has come to say something bad about him. Danielle says that while her aunt is away, she is taking care of her aunt's house. Matthew's parents ask him to show her around the neighborhood because she wants to get to know it. Matthew tries to act like nothing is wrong because he thinks Danielle didn't see him peeking. Danielle saw him peeking though, and she asked Matthew if he liked what he saw. Matthew says he's sorry he looked at her and that it was just a mistake. But Danielle wants more than just an apology. So she tells Matthew to take off all of his clothes in the middle of the road. The two then go to a nearby cafe, where they talk more and learn more about each other. Matthew tries to act cool to impress Danielle, but Danielle sees right through him. She thinks Matthew is cute and flirts with him openly, but Matthew, being a simple guy, doesn't get her hints. The next day, Danielle goes to Matthew's school to meet up with him. So Matthew skips class and goes to hang out with Danielle. They start spending a lot of time together and get along well. One night, Danielle takes Matthew to a random house's swimming pool. Matthew gives in to his hormones when he sees her taking off her clothes. He joins Danielle at the pool. As he is about to kiss Danielle, the house's owner comes home. It turns out that the owner is Matthew's school principal. The two run away quickly and go to the house of Matthew's friend. Then they all go to a party, where all the boys find Danielle attractive. One of Matthew's classmates walks up to them and starts flirting with Danielle. So that the others can impress Danielle, Matthew is soon kicked out of the party. But Matthew won't go, and in front of everyone, he kisses Danielle. Danielle kisses him back, and they start dating. Matthew is no longer the person he used to be. He's more confident, brave, and happy now. But he soon feels sad when a friend shows him an adult video with Danielle in it. Matthew is disappointed to find out that Danielle used to be an adult star. A friend of Matthew's tells him to take Danielle to a motel and sleep with her. But Matthew doesn't want to ever see Danielle again, so he leaves. When he gets home, Danielle is talking to his mom. Matthew can't stop thinking about Danielle's job, so he decides to take her to a motel. So he takes Danielle to a motel room that night. Danielle figures out why she's brought to the room and starts to take off her clothes. When she tells Matthew what she does for a living, she asks him if this is what he wanted. Matthew can't say anything. Danielle's behavior makes Matthew upset, so she breaks up with him. She cared about Matthew, but he broke her heart by treating her like a thing. Matthew feels bad about what he did and thinks about all the good times he's had with Danielle. So he goes to Danielle's house one day to say sorry, but he is shocked to see an adult movie producer named Kelly at Danielle's house. So Danielle tells Matthew that she will talk to him later and tells him to go. Kelly goes to Matthew's school the next day and talks to some of the girls there. Kelly praises Matthew and his friends in front of the girls when they come. After that, Matthew takes Kelly to a bank and tells the teller that he is a student advisor. Matthew has saved $25,000 so that a smart student from Cambodia can attend their school. He went to the bank to put the money in the bank. One day, Matthew finds out that Danielle and Kelly are going to Vegas. Matthew tries to stop her, but Danielle tells him that she can't run away from her past and must accept who she is. 
Matthew is sad that she is leaving, and he feels bad that he messed up a great relationship with her. His friends try to cheer him up and tell him he can't do anything right now, but Matthew has a plan. He and his friends decide to go to Las Vegas to win Danielle back. They go to the adult film convention, where Danielle is doing a show. Matthew goes up to her and apologizes for everything, but Danielle doesn't pay attention to him. As Matthew follows her, another producer named Hugo tries to hire her, but Danielle turns him down. Matthew tells Kelly to let Danielle go when Kelly gets there. This makes Kelly very angry, so she tells Matthew to leave Danielle alone. Matthew doesn't want to give up, so he talks to Danielle again. He tells her that he accepts her as she is and gives her a drawing he made for her. The next day, Matthew works on his speech for the contest, but he can't get his mind on it. All of a sudden, Danielle shows up and says that she left everything for Matthew. Matthew asks Danielle if she will go to the prom with him after she drops him off at school. Danielle says yes, but Matthew is still nervous about the speech contest, which will happen at night. But all of a sudden, Kelly walks into Matthew's classroom and drags him outside. He takes him to a lonely place and tells him that he lost $30,000 because Danielle didn't come to work. So he tells Matthew that he will leave Danielle alone and forget about the money if he will go to Hugo's house and steal his award for Kelly. Matthew agrees to steal the award and breaks into the house, but Kelly calls the police to report a theft. Matthew steals the award before the police can catch up with him. He then goes with Danielle to the speech competition, but it turns out that Kelly had given him drugs before, which is why Matthew can't think straight. Even though he is drugged, Matthew still gives a great speech that makes everyone impressed, but one of Matthew's classmates still beat him in the race. The next day, Matthew goes to take the money for the Cambodian students to the bank, but he finds out that Kelly has taken all of his money and left. Matthew is shocked and doesn't know what to do. He goes to Danielle to ask for help, and she comes up with a plan. Then they return the award to Hugo at his home. Matthew then tells him that he and his friends want to make an adult movie at their school. Hugo agrees right away and is willing to pay $25,000 to bring the Cambodian student there. Danielle has even called her two adult industry friends to help her make the movie. They will be Matthew's friends' prom dates. When they all get to the prom, their swag and style blow everyone away. Some of Matthew's classmates come up to him and ask if they are adult stars. Matthew tells them that they are. Matthew then asks them to be in a movie, and the boys agree right away. Then they start making the adult movie at school, but the boys can't live up to what was expected of them. So Matthew decides to finish the shooting by doing it himself. But one of the teachers came and caught them before they could film the scene. But it turns out that Matthew was just making things up in his head, and nothing had happened yet. Matthew changes his mind and decides not to act in the movie, because he can't cheat on his first love for money. So Matthew's friend decides to act out the scene. They finish the shoot without getting caught. Matthew and Danielle make out in the car after everyone has gone home. The next day, Matthew's friend calls him up and tells him that their videotape from the night before was stolen. Matthew sees his principal, Kelly, and his parents when he gets home. It turns out that Kelly stole the videotape. Kelly then threatens to show the video to Matthew's family and principal if Matthew doesn't pay him half the amount for the video. But Matthew doesn't care about the threat and tells him to go ahead. When Kelly plays the video, everyone finds out that it's about sex education and doesn't have any sex scenes. It turns out that Matthew outsmarted everyone by changing an adult video into a sex education video. Matthew's parents and principal are impressed by this and praise him for being creative. Matthew and Hugo put out the video, which became a hit right away. The video makes the two of them a lot of money, which helps Matthew bring the Cambodian student to the United States. Matthew pays his way through college and buys himself a new car. He is now with Danielle and they are very happy and love each other a lot. I enjoyed this movie. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about the movie. If you liked this movie, you can watch it in the links down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of our videos. Thanks for watching Red Recaps. See you in the next video.